Round of fluting the barrels for the VG15. The first method we did, we used a uh, indicator to indicate how far we went down to flute based upon the three jaw chuck being set in the, in the holder. And it was set originally into this plate. We had movement. So what we did then was we added four extra screws, two per side. And we added supports to the fluting press. We brought the movement down to minimal, but it was still one or two thou. And that movement would cause the fluting tool to end up snapping. That's our fluting tool. So then we went from an indicator to a pressure gauge. And we ran it on pressure, so many pounds to get the flute in as deep as we wanted based upon the type of steel, all that kind of stuff. And we would flute, cut a chamber open, look at it, flute some more, cut a chamber open. Then we redesigned the entire fluting press. You can see that we've now added a block that actually has movement in it on a set of uh, pins with bushings so that we've taken whatever movement we were going to have on this table and we've taken it out. So now we have zero movement here, side to side, front to back. It's just straight up and down. Then we redesigned it so that the three jaw chuck didn't move and that's a change that we're probably going to make later so that it does so we can put in more than three flutes. We've cut the angles on the faces of the three jaw chuck so that the barrel sets in that perfectly. And now when we go to flute, we flute down to a gauge block so that the gauge block only allows it to go so far and no farther, keeping the flutes the same, which in turn has produced some absolutely beautiful fluting. So, so far what we have on this project is we've redesigned the fluting press four times and then finally came up with an in internal press for the fifth one. And we've redesigned the fluting tool six times to get the kind and style of flute that we wanted that matched up with what the Germans did in World War II on this particular weapon. And it makes a really nice flute. So now we're going to just run it through the process. We'll put a barrel in, we'll set it up, we'll flute it, we'll take it out, we'll inspect it, then take it out, inspect it again. And then put another barrel in, you can see just how fast we've managed to get this whole system down to.